Hello, I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man, and I'm with Emma Hickman. Emma is a partner at the Manchester office and specialist at advising people who want to buy and sell businesses. Hello, Emma. Hi there. So it's been in the news this week about Amazon's proposals to buy the MGM uh, studios. Um, and I guess, Emma, I just wanted to ask you really, what sort of things would Amazon um, consider when making a, an acquisition like that? Yeah, so I think the best thing to start with is, is why they are acquiring the business themselves. So often businesses will want to acquire other businesses to either expand into new um, new areas or diversify, and that could be buying a competitor, so it would be more of the same, or um, they could expand into new territories, so either sort of locally to another city or even um into another continent and then also they need to think about new industries and supply chain and for Amazon um, obviously in the history of Hollywood um, Amazon are pretty sort of new players in the in the film part of it so they'll need to be thinking about they'll want to be they, but they've got lots of cash so they'll want to be using that cash to buy this business to enable them to really take on this um, market of, of putting film content out into the world um, so uh, so from their perspective, the thing that they're going to be really needing to do is ensure that they can actually get on with their plans and do that. So they'll want to be checking um, sort of investigating the company, just like if you were buying a house, you'd want to make sure the roof is on. If you're buying, um, buying a company, you want to make sure you can actually do the things you want to do. So is all the intellectual property owned within MGM? Have they already got distribution in, in place with different, you know, does Netflix already have some kind of agreement with them whereby they need to have exclusive film film provision? So so they want to buy this, buy, buy the, the film back catalogue in order to, um, yeah, to be, to be able to, to utilise and, and distribute that exclusive content. And, and so they need to make sure that they can do that. So that's where we would sort of help our, the businesses we work with, with the sort of legal investigations and due, due diligence. There would be also commercial and financial due diligence usually. And then um, we'd also, when we're acting for buyers, we'd also want to sort of back up all that sort of diligence and investigation with warranties within an agreement. So there's legal protections to ensure that um, that going forward, the investigations and all the findings are correct, and that any risks are sort of covered off. So that that was that would be our role in in, in an acquisition like this. Emma, fascinating to speak to you, and I guess you know individuals can get in touch with you and have a more detailed conversation as well if they want to know a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. Ex Excellent. Thank you very much for your time, Emma. And if you'd like to contact Emma, you can email me insideman at jmw.co.uk or call me on 0161 82 81 999. I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man.